Here's a guy, he's absolutely massive in the States after going through the whole process of US Idol. He's come out the other end of it. He's managed to shock at the American Music Awards. And he's now being written songs by Pink and Gaga. He's collaborated with on his latest album. It's none other than Adam Lambert, a.k.a. Glambert. Hello, how are you? I'm very glam today. Thank you, I'm trying. Loving I got the kill. Spiked sporin, you know. I, I think know. this is the way to do it for me. You know, if that turns around the wrong way when uh, you're dancing, you I could know. be in trouble. I know, I know. Gotta be. It's, it's actually kind of like having a cactus, a little pet cactus. Can I touch it? You can always touch it. You can touch it whenever you want to touch it. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Where do we go from here? Okay. A bit naughty, You've already it? caused controversy at the American Music Awards. Let's just brush over that very yeah. quickly. What was all the fuss about? Well, I got up on stage and it's you know a song about kind of getting frisky and I just interpreted the lyrics how I saw fit. I did some very suggestive... You got frisky? I got frisky. I, I, I did some suggestive choreography with a guy. Then I kissed a male member of my band. It was all just to kind of raise eyebrows, but unfortunately there were some people that were very upset by it, and I didn't expect that. Um, so upset that they called in and complained to the FCC and ABC Network, the television station yeah. that I was on. and like To make a big name for yourself I in, mean, in it, all the best possible ways. It definitely, short term, it was, it was kind of a rough um, obstacle. Um, it, it definitely it ticked people off, and, and that was never my intention. I think that they weren't expecting that because I wasn't doing those kind of things on Idol. And this was my first television appearance post-Idol. Yeah. So, you know. Now you're here in the UK. This is your very first visit to Scotland. What do you think so far? Well, it's beautiful. It's a bit brisk out, but we, uh, I, I, I flew into, we were, yeah, we were, the breeze was blowing out there, but we, um, uh, I, I stayed in Edinburgh last night and just the architecture and the, the it was incredible like everything that I was looking at is driving around this morning and we drove down here across the countryside and it was it was raining but it was still I mean like I saw these old churches and cemeteries and just beautiful rolling hills and um, it's really good to be here and hopefully next time I'll get to spend a little more time in the city here in Glasgow and go out, you know. What about Gaga? Everybody wants to know about Gaga. You've been dubbed the male Gaga. Which is a compliment of the highest degree. I think she's an incredible artist. She's so talented, innovative. She's definitely like waking people up to new, the new pop. Um, and she, she and I actually did work together in the studio and it was a blast. Was it? Yeah, Tell, go on, spill the beans. We had a couple of whiskeys and uh, whiskey, Scotch oh, yeah. whiskey. Uh, Jameson. Um, and we uh, sat there and traded stories about life and music. And we kind of, in some ways, are kind of cut from a similar cloth as mm -hmm. far as like our our upbringing, our background. She did some theater for a while, and I did too. And she kind of got in the club kid scene in New York, and I got into it in L.A. So. Yeah. We definitely kind of have a similar um, appreciation for things. So when, when we came time to, to actually record the vocals, she was egging me on. She was on the other side of the glass. She was like, go louder, be crazier, further. Now, how do you see uh, your career blossoming? Because obviously you're, you're at it right now, but do you see yourself later on going into films and all that kind I of thing? There's, there's always a possibility for that. I mean, I'm an entertainer first and foremost, so whatever medium that is, I'm I'm down, you know. I think if the right project came along at the right time, I would love to try that. Yeah. yeah. What kind of character would you like to play? I hope it would be something edgy and kind of different. Nothing to, you know, I'm not going to play like a football player next door. You know, I'm going to play the eccentric guy. So something that kind of goes with my own personality and my my persona, I guess. Okay, so Scotland, you're here. It's a it's a big deal that we we've got you here, and it's a big deal for you to come here as well. That's great. And you've already remarked on the architecture and things like that. But um, what other things would you like to explore about Scotland? Do you have a bit of Scotland in you? I, you know, I think that way back, uh, my my dad's side of the family. Uh, my, my grandmother did some genealogy and we've been in the States since like the 1700s but previous to that I think it was like Scandinavia and UK blood so and I'm a ginger with freckles so I think that that kind of is a Scottish now Irish that's thing. a bit of an exclusive is it not I don't know yeah, so, <laughs> you will. Yeah, it's all smoke and mirrors yeah so the, the ginger here so there must be something Celtic in there maybe I think somewhere Somewhere back there, yeah. So you, do you have to avoid the sunshine a lot? I do burn very easily, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that See all these freckles? God. And what about, do you have any, um, any little hobbies, secret hobbies that we don't know about? Secret hobbies? Are, are, are you a stamp collector? No. <laughs> <laughs> you know, 
I wish I had more secrets. I'm such an open book, and my life really revolves around what I do. You know, I love music and talking about music and buying music and listening to it, and then I'm just very social. I mean, my big mission statement is that I really want to encourage people to be whoever the hell they want to be. You know, I think that it's all about freedom of, of choice and expression. And I think that the individuality should be championed. And I think that people... Embraced. Yeah, and I think that, that, you know, I am a little left of center and I am different in the music industry and I w I'm proud of that. And I want people to feel like they can be who they want to be as well. I think that's my big mission. And, you know, I've been told before, oh, do you consider yourself a role model? You were on American Idol and, you know, you're, you're out of the closet. Do you, you know, are you a role model? And I'm like, well... If I am, then that's great, but that's not my goal. Mm -hmm. My goal isn't to say, do, do what I do, it's to do what you do. Yeah. You know? On that note, Adam Lambert has given us his message, the Glambert one. <laughs> do, 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 do you get sick of being called Glambert? No, I think it's, it fits. It's a fitting, it does it's fit. a fitting nickname. With eyeliner and everything. Yeah, it's glam. It's not Gothbert, it's Glambert. Love it. Thank you very much, Adam Lambert. <laughs>